one of the most powerful civilizations in the history of the world. Ancient Egypt reigned supreme for more than 3,000 years. Settled around the Nile River in northeast Africa, the ancient Egyptians created huge pyramids, beautiful statues, detailed artwork, and a complex system of hieroglyphic writing. During their long history, they made advances in agriculture, architecture, and astronomy. Northeast Africa is almost completely desert and receives very little rain. In some areas, it may rain only once every few years. Every year, between June and September, the Nile River overflowed its banks, flooding the land on either side. But this annual flood was not a disaster. The people of Egypt looked forward to it. When the Nile flooded, it covered the fields on both sides with a layer of rich brown mud that could grow wheat, barley, and vegetables. The Egyptians believed that after death, a person's soul went on a journey to reach the afterlife. This journey was dangerous, and not everyone would be allowed in. In the Hall of Truth, the jackal-headed guardian of the dead, Anubis, would weigh your heart. If it was lighter than a feather, you would be allowed to enter the Field of Reeds, a place where you could live eternally with no more sadness, sickness, or death. Because the afterlife was thought to be so much like life on Earth, the ancient Egyptians believed that you would need to take things with you, including your body. This is why they made mummies. Mummification preserved bodies so that they kept a more lifelike appearance. The scarab is one of the most popular symbols in Egypt. They were seen on deities, royalties, and used in jewelry, clothing, and decorative items. The scarab symbolizes the never-ending cycle of life, the renewal of day, rebirth, and life after death. To create our scarab, we will need black glue, a pencil, and colored paper. Hold your paper vertical and write your name and class on the back of the paper. The scarab has three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the body. It has three pairs of legs, antennae, and wings. Use a pencil to start drawing the scarab's body parts.
Twist your glue open and carefully glue along all of your pencil lines. When you are finished, wipe off any glue on the tip, close the glue bottle, and put it away. Load the drying rack from bottom to top. Put your glue away back at the front of the room 